Hello there everyone and welcome back or welcome to my channel. This is the Daily Love Readings with me, Miss Machiste. We are going to be looking into each zodiac sign's daily love energies for February 17th. In the description box below, you will find the timestamps to this video because each zodiac sign has their own reading. I will also pin a comment in the comment section with the timestamps as well. Please do not forget to check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs because not all messages will resonate with everyone out there. So please check out your other chart placements. Also, this is for February 17th, which is a Wednesday, but do keep in mind that time is fluid. If you're new here, welcome. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. I would love to have you as a part of this beautiful channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you so very much for being here and for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you out there for all of your continuous support. Please do not forget to like this video. It really helps my channel grow. So let's get into it and let's get started. We are going in reverse zodiac order. So we are starting with my beautiful Pisces. So happy birthday to all of my Pisces out there who are celebrating your birthday. I hope you have a wonderful birthday season and many, many years to come to all of my fellow Pisces sons out there. So let's get your Romance Angels card here, Pisces, for February 17th for my beautiful Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign, Spirit, and their love lives for February 17th. All right, Pisces, let's see what's coming through for you. Got some cards flying. So Spirit for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for February 17th. All right, Pisces, so you have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. All right, Pisces, so you could be going from single to in a connection in a relationship. You could be in a relationship and things are progressing to higher levels of commitment. Maybe you're making it official. Possibly some of you could actually be getting engaged. So let's see what the tarot has for my beautiful Pisces. Spirit for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. If you're single, single Pisces, you may be meeting somebody new that is very interested in Seeing where things go between the two of you. So let's see Pisces. Spirit for Pisces for February 17th. All right, Pisces. So you have the Four of Wands, Temperance, and the Star. Wow, beautiful energy, Pisces. You absolutely have somebody who is very interested in coupling with you, or you are about to meet somebody who is very interested in coupling with you. That's a higher level of commitment right there. You have been very patient, Pisces. You have been very patient. You've been working on your inner peace. And with temperance coming through, you have Archangel Michael coming through to bless your love life. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius with temperance. Could be a Leo or an Aries. Could also be an Aquarius. But wish fulfillment is coming. The star energy. So you've been wishing for your connection to reach a higher level of commitment. You've been hoping things would be more official, more in a commitment-like way, feeling more stable with this relationship. Or for some of you, Pisces, you're really coming into connection with somebody who is a very divinely guided soulmate. And a lot of you, Pisces, could be going from single, single, single to now having an option to progress with. And I love when Temperance and the Star come out because they're both mixing two different cups. They're mixing two different people to come together as one. They're also mixing the dream world and reality. So it's kind of like whatever you've been dreaming and you've been hoping for and whatever you've been very patient 
about is finally leveling up here. This is a beautiful reading for you, Pisces. You are coming together with somebody who is very interested in progressing this relationship. Seeing if you two can get to a committed relationship or possibly even marriage for some of you, Pisces. So beautiful reading. Some of you, Pisces, if you've been in a committed relationship for quite some time, you could be getting engaged to for sure. So beautiful. Thank you, Pisces, for being here and for watching. And I'll see and talk to y'all very, very soon. And next up is Aquarius. Happy birthday to my Aquarius sons who are still celebrating. I hope you have a wonderful or have had a wonderful birthday season and many years to come. So Aquarius, let's see what your Romance Angels card is. Spirit for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. For my beautiful Aquariuses. Thank you, Spirit. All right, we have Calling in Your Soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. All right, so calling in a soulmate energy here, Aquarius. You could have been doing this and you have somebody in your life. Or you could be in the process of doing this, affirming, visualizing, praying for a soulmate to come through. Let's see. Sphere for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for February 17th in their love lives. All right, Aquarius. We have the Ace of Wands, the Two of Wands, and Temperance. So it could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a fire fire sign. Um, not doesn't have to be a Sagittarius. Could be an Aries. Could be a Leo. But you have a new love offer, a passionate offer from somebody who wants to grow with you. You have somebody very attractive towards you here. I honestly feel like for some of you Aquariuses, you've been waiting for an offer like this, or you may have somebody here wanting to bring peace back into this connection and offering a new beginning for you to choose this new wand right and let go of the past so definitely a new passionate offer coming your way or it could just be an offer from a fire sign because we have a bunch of fire here and this person they see growth with you this could be a newer person that comes around that helps you release your past you have been calling this person in but spirit is definitely highlighting Somebody offering you something here, Aquarius, that's going to help you choose a new path forward in this relationship to bring more balance, peace, and harmony to this connection. Or you could just be meeting somebody new. This could be a return of somebody as well because temperance is here. You could have been waiting and very patient for this energy for quite some time. And now here it is, Aquarius. Whatever soulmate you have been calling in or whatever you have been trying to call in for you and your soulmate is finally here. They finally are coming with this offer towards you. For you two to release the past and see the future of this connection or just you, Aquarius, release the past and embrace the future of your love life so i like this very beautiful you have an offer coming your way i do feel like there is a decision here with the two of wands on if you want to take this offer or not some of you may think about it for a little bit with temperance you may need some patience around this but i definitely do feel like a lot of you aquarius are absolutely interested in taking this offer and seeing where this relationship can go, bringing back peace, balance. And, you know, you may be very different from your person with temperance coming through, but you have that angel, Archangel Michael, helping you to come together and create this beautiful balance. So thank you, Aquarius, for being here and for watching. And I'll see and talk to y'all very, very soon. And next up is Captain. Capricorn, let's get your angel. What romance angel cards coming through for Capricorn for February 17th? Spirit for Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for my beautiful Capricorns. All right, Capricorn. 
So we have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. All right, Capricorn, you may be deciding to express yourself to somebody. They may be expressing themselves towards you. Let's see what the tarot has. Spirit for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in their love lives for my beautiful Capricorns for February 17th. All right, Capricorn, let's see. We have the Six of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the King of Swords. Ah, interesting. So, Capricorn, there's somebody around you that is very interested in coupling with you here. There could be distance involved here with the Six of Swords, or this could be emotional distance. King of Swords, Six of Swords. So... Whoever's been emotionally distant in this relationship is coming to the realization that they want this relationship and they want it to move forward and they are interested in being with you. This could go either way, Capricorn. This could be you realizing that you want to open up more emotionally because you have this person who is very interested in moving forward with you. For others of you Capricorns, the person that you have been dealing with may be emotionally distant and now they're realizing, you know, if we're going to make this work, if we want to get to this happy relationship, this openly loving connection, then we need to be more emotional. We need to be more expressive with each other. So I definitely feel like that's what's happening. Capricorn, I'm I'm really feeling that a lot of you Capricorns may be the emotionally distant one here. And you have somebody around you very interested in almost waiting for you to open up more emotionally and let them into your heart. But keep in mind, this could be totally backwards, Capricorn. You could be dealing with a very emotionally distant person. And this person's finally coming to the realization that if we can, if we want to reach this joy and this stability and this open loving relationship with each other then I need to express myself to Capricorn or Capricorn you may feel like I need to start expressing myself to this person because I don't want them to turn cold on me for me not expressing myself right so for some of you Capricorns the person that you have been connecting with may be a little bit emotionally distant because of your emotional distance and vice versa, right? You could be emotionally distant because of their emotional distance. It's like you're both realizing that we want this, so we need to be more expressive of our hearts. So, could be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. They could have this in their chart with these swords. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They could have this in their chart. You could have this in your chart. But there's an energy around opening up on a loving level and stop being so detached emotionally and aloof. You know, very difficult to read. Somebody is very difficult to read here. Capricorn, you know which one it is, right? Could be both of you. In some sort of aspect, but I do feel like there's going to be more expression of the heart chakra. So thank you, Capricorn, for being here and for watching. And I'll see and talk to y'all very, very soon. And next up is Sagittarius's. Hello, Sagittarius. Let's get your Romance Angel card for February 17th. For Sagittarius spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for my beautiful Sagittarius's. And we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. All right. A conversation coming through for my Sagittarius's. So let's see. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For February 17th, Spirit for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. All right, Sagittarius, we have Judgment, Page of Cups, Queen of Cups. So, 
Sagittarius, somebody may be coming around from the past wanting a second chance with you. Or your person may just be wanting more loving conversation, right? So, judgment could be a return of the past, but it also could be your person wanting a second chance here. Or some of you Sagittarius is you may be getting a second chance in love and finally finding somebody who is open with discussing their feelings, right? Page of Cups, Queen of Cups, Water Sign Energy, Sagittarius could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. You could have this in your chart. But if this is somebody from your past, they definitely still have feelings for you and they definitely have apologies or they just want to open up to you on a more emotional level. For others of you, you could be dealing with somebody already and they want a second chance. You two are definitely going to have some sort of conversation surrounding this second chance. And I definitely feel like this person has a lot of feelings for you here. I feel like they feel, they're feel they feeling a little bit vulnerable, but they definitely want to open up to you. And I do, I'm not going to write this off. I do feel like for some of you Sagittariuses, you could be meeting somebody new who is a soulmate of yours that helps you open up emotionally because this person is ruled much more by emotion than you are just because water sign energy is coming out doesn't mean it has to be a water sign you know you could be any sign and be very emotionally ruled right you don't know what their chart looks like but this person have, has feelings for you and you could be having somebody new come your way and they may fall really fast and maybe maybe telling you this here. I definitely feel like Sagittarius, you will have a choice on if you want to converse with this person or if you want to open up to this person back. But you definitely have somebody reaching out to you here. Somebody wanting you to open up on an emotional level. Possibly an apology as well. So, thank you Sagittarius. That's what I got here for you. And thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all very, very soon. And next is Scorpio. So, Scorpio, let's get your Romance Angel card out. Spirit for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in their love lives. For my beautiful Scorpios, what's coming through for Scorpio for February 17th? Scorpio, I just got a bonus for y'all out if you want to go check it out on my channel. So we have let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. All right, Scorpio. So you may have been in a position of wanting to control the way things have been going. Or you could be dealing with a controlling person. Let's see what the tarot's got. Spirit is indicating just go with the flow and allow this situation to unfold at its natural pace. So let's see Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for February 17th in their love lives. All right, Scorpio. So we have the Five of Wands, the Sun, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Interesting. I feel like somebody's having insecurities of the, there it is, insecurities, challenges, conflict internally about the process of things. The Seven of Pentacles. Scorpio, it looks like it could be you or it could be them, but somebody's waiting for the other person to pick up the pace, right? Could be a Leo with the sun and the mutual energy, but I feel like Scorpio, this could go either way. Somebody does not know where they stand with you and they're like getting at this position where they're kind of tired of waiting, but they still can't help but hold on to you. They want to know how you feel about them. They're feeling insecure. They may feel like you have options. They may feel a little bit jealous or like they're in competition with other people for your attention, or you may feel this way about the other person, but there's an energy around not wanting to wait any longer. It's like they just want to know. They they want this clarity. They want this truth. They want to know where they stand with you, Scorpio, because they don't know within or you don't know where you stand with somebody else and you want that clarity. You've been waiting for that clarity. But Spirit is saying to allow this situation to unfold the way it's going 
Keep it at the process that it's out and truths will be revealed. You will know where you stand. They will tell you where you stand. Or this is totally flipped and they're waiting for you to give them more clarity on how you feel, Scorpio. For some of you Scorpios, you may have multiple people vying for your attention. You may have multiple people wanting your attention and you don't really know who to choose. For others of you Scorpios, you may have had... Uh, this is a lot of different messages here, so take which one you feel is yours. For some of you Scorpios, you may be like very conflicted about a relationship and you're kind of like, do I move forward with this or do I give up? But you're contemplating. You're like, you don't know what to do because you feel like you're out of control. You feel like things are not happening exactly the way that you wanted them to happen. So there's this energy of waiting for truth, waiting for clarity, or waiting to know where you stand with somebody, or somebody waiting to know where they stand with you, or like waiting to get out of conflict with your person and find more happiness. There could have been conflict in the past, and now you both are kind of like, all right, well, is it worth it to mend this relationship? For sure, definitely could be something around that here, but... Could be dealing with a fire sign, an earth sign, but there's definitely an energy around taming the conflict, taming the insecurities, and going with the flow of things. So that's what I have here for you, my beautiful Scorpios. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching, and I'll see and talk to y'all very, very soon. And next is Libra. Hello, my beautiful Libras. Let's get your... Romance Angel card spirit for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in their love lives for my beautiful Libras for February 17th in Libra's love lives. All right, Libra, you have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. All right, so keeping an open mind about love, about your person, releasing expectations about the way you expect them to act, the way you expect them to look, the way you expect them to be, and just have an open mind about things. So let's get your tarot, Libra. Here for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in their love lives for February 17th. I don't take flyers. All right, Libra. We have the Five of Cups. There it is. What was I saying? The Magician and the King of Pentacles. So, Libra, releasing expectations because there is an energy of you feeling disappointment by the way you think things should be. Yet there is hope for your love life or there is hope for a connection here. You only just have to use your powers of manifestation. A lot of you Libras are manifesting commitment. That's what I see here. And I do feel like the process that is, it is taking is causing you to feel a little bit disappointed here. Possibly the patience that you may have to have is causing you to feel disappointed but I definitely do feel like you have somebody in your vicinity or somebody around you that you are very much interested in committing to. King of Pentacles here. Somebody that you see permanence in. Somebody that you feel as though you can grow with. And Libra, this is your gist of things. If you keep looking at the negative of things in your love life, you're going to keep manifesting the negative. If you turn around and change your focus and look at the positive of things, keeping an open mind, you will manifest the positive. So this is exactly what this reading is about. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Virgo, Capricorn, a Gemini, a water sign. You could have this in your chart somewhere. But your powers of manifestation are very high right now. But be careful where your thoughts are going or be careful what your expecting from another person because a lot of you Libras are expecting something from somebody that you know they cannot give 
at least right now. So you have these expectations and then they get shot down and then you look at everything as a negative when in reality, if you just change that focus, and I don't know, Libra, you probably saw the hangman fly out before when I told you I didn't take flyers. Changing your focus and seeing your love life from a new set of eyes. Seeing yourself as confident. Seeing yourself as somebody who can manifest what they truly desire. But if you keep staring at the negative, you're only going to manifest the negative. If you find your confidence, this is this is for you, Libra. This is a key for you. Finding your confidence, finding your power, no matter what's happening around you, keeping yourself sturdy and confident, you will attract commitment. You will attract this person to come towards you in more committed like energy. Or you may attract a new soulmate who is very committed, but they may not be what your usual type is. Which may cause you to be a little bit disappointed, but you still got something you were manifesting, right? It's just not exactly what you were expecting. So being grateful no matter what is going to help you reap better and more rewards. For others of you, I definitely feel like you're dealing with somebody and they just don't live up to the expectations that you put on them. And get rid of those expectations. Keep an open mind and see what happens. You will be pleasantly surprised. So, thank you Libra for being here and for watching. And I'll see and talk to all y'all very, very soon. Alright, and next up is Virgo. Spirit for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for February 17th. In their love lives for my beautiful Virgos. What's going on February 17th in their love lives? All right, Virgo. So we have chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. All right, so... Definitely feeling very closely bonded to somebody. So let's see what your tarot has. A lot of chemistry between the two of you. Very strong attraction. Feeling very attracted by one another. Feeling very inspired by one another as well. So let's see, Virgo, what your tarot has for February 17th for Virgo. All right, Virgo. So we have the Knight of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the King of Wands. All right. So Virgo, it's like, sorry, I just moved the camera a little bit. Um, Virgo, somebody's coming in hot towards you. Knight of Swords, very fast-paced communication. I do feel like there is an energy of defeat around this though so with this strong magnetic attraction it honestly feels like it's extreme because with this five of swords coming through it's like you both are feeling this energy of defeat it's like i can't help but feel so magnetically attracted towards virgo or this person could be making you feel like this virgo that you just can't help but feel so attracted towards this person. Knight, I mean, I'm sorry, King of Wands. They look good. They smell good. They think you look good. The attraction is mutual here. You both are feeling the chemistry. You both, it's like this energy of, you both feel this very strong attraction towards each other, but there is an energy around the both of you that is causing this connection to not fully be as amazing as it could be right this moment. So there could be some sort of external influences around. Could be family, could be friends, it could be living circumstances or distance, right? There could be distance involved here, but it's like no matter what is causing you both to feel defeated, it's not going to make you both not be interested in each other anymore. So it's kind of like through defeat, you two are finding this energy of continuously nurturing this connection. 
for a possibility of some of you. This King of Wands here could be a fire sign. Um, what did I almost say? Could be an Aquarius. I almost said Aquarius. Could be a fire sign, which is fire. Why do I keep saying this? Oh my gosh, y'all. Ah! All right, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. I honestly keep feeling fire, so... If they don't have any fire in their chart or they're not a fire sign, they may just be so attracted towards you. They feel this fire within towards you. And I do feel like they just can't help but feel this attraction towards you, Virgo. They're coming in hot. They want to communicate with you. They want to speak to you. But there's this energy around external circumstances that are making this connection not progress at the speed that you would like. Doesn't mean it's not going to progress at all, but there is some weird energy here around external situation making it a little bit slow for the both of you. Yet you two want to go really fast, but you can't. There's an energy around that. So nonetheless, they're interested in you. They have communication for you. They want to speak to you. They still want to have good communication with you. But until these external circumstances subside, you two feel like you can't fully nurture this connection in the way that you want to. But I do feel like these external circumstances are going to fall away. So you two can nurture this connection on a very good level. Sword energy here could be an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. It doesn't have to be. I'm really feeling like... Whatever sign this person is, a fire is lit within them for you, Virgo. That's what it is. A fire fire is lit under their butt. And they're like, Virgo, I want this. I know maybe we can't go that fast, but I'm still interested in you, Virgo. So that's what I got here, Virgo. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching. And I'll see and talk to y'all very, very soon. And next is my beautiful Leos. Hello, Leo. And welcome to your daily reading. Spirit for Leo for February 17th in their love lives. What's going on for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Leo. All right, Leo. We have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. All right, so it doesn't always have to necessarily be parents. It could just be healing family issues that you have within the family. Or they may have some family issues as well that are going through a healing process. So let's see. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. There could be some fear around family. What will they think? How will they react? Whatever the case may be. So let's see. My beautiful Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for February 17th in love. All right, Leo. You have the Hanged Man, the Hermit, and the Ace of Wands. All right, Leo, somebody is absolutely coming out of isolation, solitude to give you this new passionate offer. Ace of Wands. They feel very attracted towards you and they want to see if you two can spark something or spark something again. But there's an energy around being stuck. So, for a lot of you, there is a high possibility that you are unsure what your family will think of this person. They may be feeling unsure. Maybe, I don't know if I should have Leo come meet my parents yet. I don't want to move too fast. That could absolutely be for some of you. Or some of you just may have a very, very, very high position of really caring what family thinks. Going to be dealing with a Pisces here, but we do have this hanged man position coming through, showing the energy that there is a need to change your perception on this. Come out of this hermit mode or come out of this maybe little secret relationship and let your family in. Let them know what's going on. Let them know what's happening, whatever the case may be. But there's definitely around um, a position with family. However you want to portray that here. But you do have 
a passionate new offer coming your way. Could be from anybody. Could be from somebody who was in hermit mode from you. And they may have been keeping you very stuck. And you were very unsure. Are they ever really going to offer me something? Or are we? is, is this person just going to keep me lingering? They do have an offer. They have a passionate offer. They may come towards you with an idea. Hey, maybe if we do this and... Maybe we can have my family and your family or we can come together in this way. Maybe that will bring success. Could be dealing with a Virgo or somebody with Virgo in their chart. Could be a fellow fire sign as well. Could be a Pisces with the hanged man. But there's this energy of feeling stuck. I really feel like it's stuck of what family will think or it's feeling stuck of introducing somebody to family, whatever the case may be, but I definitely feel like you two are going to find a way to heal this, find a way out, and embark on a better beginning of more freedom and more freedom to live this relationship in whatever way you two feel like you want to navigate this relationship with. So interesting reading here, Leo. I definitely feel like for a lot of you, somebody is very into their independence and it may cause you to be unsure of where you stand with this person and they come through with an offer making you feel a lot more sure or this could be totally vice versa you may be very focused on your healing and you have an offer coming in for you and you're just a little bit stuck on how you want to accept this offer what you want to do with this offer so thank you leo for being here and for watching and i'll see and talk to y'all very very soon and we have cancer coming through so spirit for cancer sun moon rising venus signs for february 17th in their love lives for my beautiful cancers what do we have here for cancer all right cancer we have make the effort Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. All right, Cancer. So, somebody may put a, may be putting effort into you. You could be realizing that you want to put effort into somebody as well. So, definitely realizing that great love is worth working towards. So, let's see. Spirit for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in their love lies for February 17th. For my beautiful Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Cancer. All right, Cancer. And we have the World, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. All right, Cancer, so you are going to be receiving a very solid offer from somebody who wants to put in effort towards you. They see growth, they see value, and they see potential in you, Cancer. And I do feel like this is going to be making you very happy with the world. You may have been closing out a lot of tough cycles, and now you are starting a new cycle. Could be with somebody new, could be a past person, could be your current energy, that is putting in effort now. And it's making you feel very happy with this Ten of Cups. You are going to be feeling extremely, extremely happy with this Ten of Cups energy. You could also be, um, for some of you Cancers, if you have been in a relationship, you could be getting proposed to with this Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. They, this person may see happiness with you that could last forever. And they have this solid offer coming towards you where they feel as though growth and a lot of growth can be achieved with you, Cancer. But not until a tough cycle closes out here with the world. So you've probably definitely been through it, Cancer, and now you are reaping those rewards. Ace of Pentacles, a new offer from somebody. And it's going to be making you feel a lot more positive than you have been. Somebody realizing that if I want cancer, I need to put the effort in. You could be meeting a totally new person after closing out a cycle here. This could be a newer energy that is seeing potential in you right away, cancer, and they have offers. They see that they can go the distance with you. But definitely receiving an offer that's going to be making you very, very happy here, cancer. And... 
somebody is realizing that I must put effort into cancer. I must reciprocate cancer. I need to bring back balance to this relationship. Or maybe this is just a new person bringing balance into your love life. And this person, they know the steps they must take to grow a healthy relationship. If they didn't know before, they may come to a realization now. But whatever offer is coming your way, I feel like you're going to be over the moon about. Extremely happy. So, could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, thank you, Cancer. And next up is Gemini. All right, for my beautiful Geminis for February 17th. In their love lives for my beautiful Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for February 17th. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. All right, Gemini, let's see what's coming through for you. And we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced, influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. All right, so it could be very different from one another. You two may just be on different life paths, different spiritual paths. Maybe you two come from very different religions, very different upbringings, right? So let's see. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign, Spirit for February 17th in their love lives. All right, Gemini, we'll take this. Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and the Emperor. All right, interesting. Gemini, somebody's got feelings for you or you have feelings for somebody. I feel like whoever has these very strong feelings are feeling very vulnerable right now. But they're trying to make it seem like they're not. So whoever is in this position of really feeling very emotional right now, they're trying their best to make it seem like they're not feeling this way. But I definitely do feel like, Gemini, somebody is keeping you waiting here with the Seven of Pentacles. Or a lot of you, Geminis, are in a process of contemplating something. Whatever you feel. For a lot of you Geminis, you could be looking at the effort you've put into a relationship, wondering when will I get it back. The person you're connecting with may be at a really weird position right now. They may be <clears throat> not budging right now. They may just be trying to keep their control as much as possible, or this could be you, Gemini. A lot of different messages here. Gemini, I'm going to clarify this. Spirit, please clarify this for Gemini. So I can get a little bit more specific for y'all. Seven of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Queen of Cups, the Fool, and the Emperor with the Hierophant. Okay, so Gemini, I do feel like you are waiting to see if a relationship is worth it. Maybe. Or you may be finally receiving some sort of recognition from your person to start fresh. Really interesting energy here. I do feel like there is a connection here with two people who are very different from one another. And I do feel like you both are on very different paths right now. And because of the difference, you both are kind of like, do we keep working for this or do we take a risk in a new direction, away from this connection. Could be dealing with an Aries, a Taurus, very strong Aries energy here. Could be a water sign. But I feel like, Gemini, you're waiting to see if a relationship will work out or you're waiting to see if this person you're connecting with will ever want a grand, big, large commitment with you. Could be totally vice versa, Gemini. The person you're connecting with could be waiting to see if this relationship is worth it or not, or if you two should go in separate directions here. But I do feel like for some of you Geminis, there may be a new beginning with this person here with the fool. Or for others of you Geminis, you may actually have a new beginning with somebody else. 
and not this person that you've been waiting to commit to you. So, very interesting. Very weird energy here. I definitely feel like there's some sort of relationship here where of two people who are very different from one another. And it's kind of like, can we even work this out or not? That's what it is. And I feel like whoever is like really emotional right now about this is really contemplating taking a risk away from this relationship. I do feel like that. Because this other energy is like not budging. Like... They, you don't know where you stand with them. You don't know if they still want this. You don't know if they still want this commitment because they're not showing anything for it. Very weird. For others of you, Geminis, you may, the very, whoever's feeling emotional about this, you want one or two things. You either want to risk away from this person because they're causing you to feel very emotional and you don't like waiting. They're not budging, whatever. Second story, you may, want a second chance with this person you may want to start over with this person but you may be unsure how they feel because they're not budging like you can't get much from this person right now because of some factor here work could be a factor spiritual upbringing or your spiritual path one of you may be a lot more spiritually inclined than the other causing a rift in the connection but there is a new beginning here gemini if you want to take it or not whether this is a new beginning away from this connection or with this connection is going to be different for each and every one of you so could it be dealing with a fire sign an earth sign a water sign strongly taurus aries that's what i got so thank you gemini for being here and for watching and next up is taurus so Taurus, let's see what's coming through for you for February 17th in your love life. For my Taurus, I'm memorizing Venus signs in their love lives. Spirit for my beautiful Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. All right, Taurus, we have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So family could be very much heavily involved in your love life or you care very much about what family thinks or if they will accept somebody into the, like a person into the family. Somebody else got this card, uh, Leo. So you could be dealing with a Leo or have Leo in your chart. So let's see what we got going on. Spirit for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for February 17th. All right, Taurus. So we have strength, two of wands, and the world. Wow, Taurus, you're really pulled back right now. Could be dealing with a Leo, but with strength coming through, you're really pulled back. You're trying to control yourself here. I feel like you may be in a position of very much wondering what family will think about a person or... You may have a lot of family things going on, whatever the case may be, but you're definitely turning your back on the past and looking towards the future. You're anticipating of what's going to come next. I feel like there's an energy around you closing out a cycle and controlling yourself and really seeing if you want to go back to that cycle or look towards the future of something new or a new cycle with this person but there's definitely an energy of you Taurus choosing a new path away from the past pulling back you could have been feeling very hurt in love you may feel like you need to control yourself from love because you don't want to get hurt so you look in the position of just regaining your strength you look like you're regaining your strength your willpower and focusing on what you feel is important to focus on. Could be love, could be family, whatever the case may be, but you're definitely spreading your wings into the future of what could be, what could come out of love. You're done looking at the past. You're done focusing on past people or past experiences and you're looking towards the future of what could come from a relationship. 
for some of you Tauruses, if you are in a connection, there could have been an end to a tough cycle here with the world that caused you to pull back a little bit and regain your power. And, you know, you may be making a decision to move away from a relationship or you may be making a decision to let go of the past with that person and say, look, if we're going to have success with each other, we need to let go of what has been and start a clean slate here. But there's something around family here, Taurus, that you feel is doing something to your love life or this person may have fear of lovers meeting their family whatever the case may be there's definitely a pullback on your end here Taurus and you're just anticipating of what else will come towards you in your love life or what else will come from this relationship after you release family issues so very interesting here definitely could be dealing with a Leo strongly a Leo could be dealing with a Taurus, could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Scorpio. So that's what I got here for you, Taurus. Thank you for being here and for watching. And we have my beautiful Aries. Thank you for being patient, Aries. Let's get your Romance Angel card for February 17th for my beautiful Aries and their love live spirit for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for February 17th in their love lives all right Aries here we go you have romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring all right Aries so somebody got you in the feels you may have someone else in the feels as well. You both may feel some sort of way about each other. Let's see what your tarot has for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. For my beautiful Aries here for February 17th in their love lives. All right, Aries, here we go. All right, Aries, so we have the lovers the eight of swords and the eight of pentacles so we have eight eight coming through you may have been seeing eights and synchronistic numbers but we have the lovers here could be dealing with a gemini there is an energy of somebody wanting reconciliation with you aries or maybe somebody wanting a second chance somebody wanting to commit to you again but this person is really in their head here with the Eight of Swords, you could be very in your head about this reconciliation or, or about this choice to commit to one another. But there's definitely an energy of feeling some sort of restriction. The restriction could be work or the restriction can just be that, you know, Aries, you could feel like, you know, I don't want to put effort into something that's just going to get me nowhere. Or for some of you, Aries, this other person may be very much in their head about putting effort into this connection because they may feel like, you know, like I don't want to waste my time. Like I don't want to put effort and energy into Aries only for it to not work out or for them to leave me or for them to deceive me or Aries. This could be you. Keep in mind, this can go either way, but somebody's in their head about putting effort into you or you're in your head about putting effort into somebody else. There could be that there is some sort of work situation involved that's causing somebody to overthink here. But there's love here with the lovers. You both have love for each other. You both feel the feelings towards each other. And I do feel like for some of you, this could be a reconciliation from somebody from your past. Or this could just be a second chance for you and your person to put effort into this connection again. Something could have happened in the past and now there is an energy here of... Do we continue to work on this? How do we continue to work on this? I do feel like... I feel like you both want to work on this. And I feel like you both are in your head. I feel like this is both of you, honestly. But you both feel divinely guided towards each other. You both feel like this is a soulmate connection. And it's like you can't help your feelings here. It's like Aries, this person, have they couldn't have helped to fall in love with you and you couldn't help to fall in love with them. And it's like, now there needs to be effort put in the connections for things to grow. And it's like, 
Somebody's really in their head about the other person putting effort into this relationship. Or somebody's really in their head about... Maybe some sort of work scenario. Maybe you two both work a lot and there's some energy around. Are we able going are we going to be able to even find time to put effort into each other? It's all in your heads, y'all. It really is. There is hope for this connection. Or there is hope for effort to be put into this connection. But your your minds are creating these worst case scenarios of what could happen next. Instead of just saying, let me just work on this and see where things will go. So, definitely could be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Gemini specifically with that lover's energy. But somebody wants to continue to work on this. They have feelings for you, Aries. You want to work on this too. You have feelings for them as well. There's just some sort of restriction, but it's in your minds. It's in your heads. So that's what I have here for you, my beautiful Aries. And thank you everyone for being here and for watching. And please do not forget to like this video once again. And if you want to book private with me, send me an email. You can find that in the description box below and we'll book you in. So thank you, Aries. And thank you everyone who has made it this far in the video. I don't know who else is still watching. But thank you to all 12 of my beautiful Zodiac sign watchers out there. And I'll see and talk to y'all very, very soon. Bye now.